Okay, so <coughs> thanks very much for the uh, invitation. So uh, today, so we'll talk about something about the relative periodic Hadi theory. And uh, this is joint work with Jerome Candelaya. So uh, the goal of the talk is try to uh, generalize from time theory of bigger modules to uh, local systems over a finite spaces. Okay, so uh, so then it's better to uh, first review from time theory, but actually I want to start from a more, ele more elementary level of mathematics. So uh, this is now adding adding Shiri theory. Uh, so like a K, some field of character P, so the perfect field. of so characteristic P. Then and GK is a color group of K bar over K. And for any continue CP representation, we call V of GK. <coughs> so we can define this dV equal to V tensor with WK bar. This is the p-typical V vectors over K bar. Then we take the GK invariant. And this is a uh, actually a phi module over WK. So then we have the theorem of Long, which generalizes the euro adding theory theory, I, I guess. So we have equivalence of categories. So between uh, continuous ZP representations of GK, to uh, V modules over WK and V maps to DV and the converse functor is D maps to VD equal to the V environment of D tensor to the WK bar. So tensor product is over WK. Okay, so this is classical theorem of Long. So actually there is a uh, refinement of this theorem, which I would like to call analytical refinement. So suppose K is complete. So now we equip the K with some analytical structure. Suppose K is complete for a uh, now Ashi median um, norm. Not necessarily discrete. So we can we can define the overconvergent with vectors. Basically, the first to define this work convergent of read vectors of radius r r int r sorry tilde is k. Okay, this is to be the element in the vita vector. Satisfy the Dorian condition. Sorry, yes. 
growing condition is uh, the growth condition is the limit t to the minus r less than sorry less than infinity yes uh, yes. Yes, so this means the, the normal of Xi cannot go to first. Okay, then uh, then we define this R2 to BDR K equal to R2 to N to R. Then we define the the big ring to be the union of R int k to the union R to in the R k, and this R b to the b d. So for each r, this r tilde inter r and r tilde b d r is not stable under the Frobenius action, but the union is stable under Frobenius action. So there is a, then there is a refinement of the theorem of Long. Sorry, uh, you can. Following are equivalent. The first one is the QP representations. Oh, sorry. Uh, yes, I, I should say I forgot to define this. E tilde K is just the fragment field of E vectors. Okay, uh, we have QP representations of GK. And the second we have a toffee module over e tilde k, and uh, second, the third is a toffee module over r tilde b d k. So here, for a tau, uh, a tau, uh, so a phi module over e tilde k to be a tau means. It is by base change from a phi module over WK. And for this, for a phi module over R2 to BDK, it is called a tau if it is base change from R2 to int. OK, then the equivalence of 1 to 2 is just the last theorem. And the three, 2 to 3, I don't know who first proved this, but I, I learned this from uh, from uh, work of Johan de Young. OK, so then. Uh, Okay, then the re re review with the Fontaine theory of Figa modules. So, uh, like in Kome's lecture, we define this OE to be the, the periodic completion of of the ring ZP double bracket pi and with pi inverse. You can, you can write this OE explicitly as the power theories such that uh, AI is in ZP and um, the valuation, periodic valuation for AI goes to infinity as I goes to negative infinity. Yes. Then uh, um, this is actually a corner ring with residue field at P double bracket pi bar. So uh, then we can define phi gamma action on OE. So phi F 
pi equal to f 1 plus pi and then p minus 1 and g f pi equal to f 1 plus pi chi g minus 1 so g uh, in the gqp and the chi is a periodic sectomic character E is just fraction field of OE. Okay, then uh, Also define the over convergent as a pair of the ring. So, uh, so we consider the periodic completion. Of the direct limit. OE, OE, OE. This is isomorphic to so the v vector of this double bracket FP chi bar and take perfection. This field is not perfect, so we take perfection. So to see this, you, if you the module P, right, then you just see that the direct limit is just uh, the perfection of this FP double bracket pi bar. And because they take a periodic completion, they'll get this with vectors. I think this is just equal to OE tilde in Comey's lecture. Yes, then uh, in this way, you can embed it OE naturally. Mm. So to this. Then we equip this this field with some analytic structure. Uh, set pi bar adic evaluation. So maybe norm. Fp double bracket pi bar by pi bar. The norm of pi bar is equal to p to the negative p over yes. Then uh, Okay, then we define we define this R int R to be the OE intersects with the uh, 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 tilde. This is FP fiber. We take a perfection. And also take completion. So because this is contained, this is also contained in this completion. Then we we define this, we define this over convergent with vectors. Then uh, we take completion. We get this. I think this is just a commis. Oh, the dagger. This is p r something. I can define this. Uh, R B D R to be R into R word of this. Okay. Yes. Yeah, then the R B D just the unit of R R B D R and R int just the unit of R into R. So see, th this point is actually something important. We can really define this, the norm on, on the power series level from, from vita vectors. <coughs> so um, then we have the basic theorem of Figa modules, which is due to Fontaine. 
and the Chevenier Pomes. So we have recurrence of categories. QOP representations. FD QOP. So it all giga modules over over E. And this is a top giga modules over RBD. Okay, so this is also mentioned in Combs lecture. However, for the proof, the proof is, is completely non-trivial thing. So we need something else. So the proof of the theorem is, the, the starting point of the proof is the following theorem, which is due to fontaine vinton -Berge. So you have this isomorphism of Gala group. I think I mentioned in my 15 minutes short talk. So you have this FP double bracket pi bar separation of over FP double bracket pi bar. This isomorphic to the Gala group of QP bar over QP adjoints. So P and P's power is rules of unity. So the amazing thing of the amazing point of the theorem is that uh, left hand side is got a group of some characteristic p object and, and uh, right hand side is got a group of some characteristic uh, zero object. So your proof of fontaine berger theorem is by by ramification, by ramification theory developed by Tate and Sen. So, uh, but here we would like to give uh, another proof, which is more analytical but it seems more simpler. Okay, so proof of the theorem. So we fix a uh, periodic E to pi i This is a Fontaine's notation E equal to one E one. So here uh, sorry, E epsilon one, E epsilon. So he e epsilon i is a uh, P to the i primitive p to the i's rules of unity and epsilon, epsilon i to the p equal to epsilon i minus one. Okay, this is called a periodic e to, to the two pi i. So then we define i for i equal to b one plus p to the p to the i minus one divide one plus p to the p to the i minus one, minus one. So this is a minimal polynomial. Of epsilon i. Then uh, we have the isomorphism. So r int one. We just fix this, the radius one. This is divided by this i phi. Sorry, I, sorry, what? Pi. Okay, pi. Pi is a variable. So i phi is, is in. So we quotient by this ideal. We actually get what? We actually get this QP adjoint epsilon i. Right. When, when, the, when, the, uh, when this is just the, the euro, the ring of polynomials, then this is obvious. But with here we consider power theories, but we still have this result. We still have this, this algorithm, division algorithm. So we got this result. OK, then, uh, yes. Sorry. Then we consider the following commutative diagram. Um, so here is our int. 
back in F1. Next. F2. And this is map F3. And this is isomorphism to To make this diagram commutative, so this is just including. Okay, we have this commutative diagram. We take the other completion. of the direct limit we call this diagram star we take the direct limit of star but when then we take piat completion so we get actually what do we get we get so the right hand side is easy right this is just uh, qp mu p infinity we take piat completion so left hand side, if you modulo p, if you modulo p first, you, you see the, the perfection of the residue field fp um, double bracket pi bar. Because we take a piat completion, you can actually see the completion of the perfection of the residue field. So this is just the R2. And this is fp double bracket pi bar. We take perfection. We take completion. We should module something, right? What it, what it is? This is f one, f two, f two is equal to phi f one. So this is should be phi inverse f one. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we have this. Yeah, because we, we 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 may need this later. So I I write down in that place. Um. Yes, then uh, this phi inverse f1 equal to the uh, pi over pi uh, to the 1 over p. So actually pi is equal to, we will then define OE as a sub, sub ring of this read vector of the perfection of p double bracket pi bar. So pi is actually equal to 1 plus pi bar. Now take the Teschinger lift minus one. Okay, so this is equal to sigma r one plus pi bar i over p i from zero to p minus one. Yes. Yes, and we, we, we define this to be z. So we call it z. Okay. Then we have this isomorphism. So uh then we see how we recover from terminal Bose theorem by this isomorphism. So actually, we have the following proposition for any analytic field L. So let L be a analytic field. A perfect. Sorry. Perfect analytic field of characteristic P. Oh, yes, analytic field means just uh, it has, uh, as the first is the Banach algebra, then it is a field. Okay. <coughs> then we have that, then, uh, okay, so, uh, yes, sorry, I, I forgot to define something. So let for any ring S, for any ring S, let f a tau s be the category of finite tau algebras over s. This is the this is definition of f a tau. Then. Uh, then we have the diagram. We have this diagram L from R into one 
a tutor, L. This is mapped to L, it's just modulo P. And at this direction, a tutor, one uh, L, modulo Z. Then uh, apply F A tau to any row of this diagram. So we produce this equivalence of categories. So this row is easy, is more easier, because this is complete for some norm. Actually, I forgot to define this norm R. You can define this on the over conversion with vectors, just the, the soup. P to the minus i, x i, right? If you remember, still remember a definition about over convergent with vectors. Sorry, I forgot to mention this. This, this rings, I mean, is complete for this norm, and this is somehow the residual field, so we can produce some Hansel lemma for in this case. So we have equivalence of categories. And for this part, uh, the observation is that, it is not observation, actually need to prove that. Tutor into one L is a field. I mean, if you take the coaching norm and it has a with the same residue field, <coughs> L. Yes, then the, the category of finite algebras over this, this, this guy is, is easy to describe just by polynomials. Then you can then prove this, just try to lift the polynomials to, to, to this ring. So yeah, this is, it's, not, it's not true, but it's, it's, uh, it's not very difficult. You can, you can just do it by hand. Then you see from this isomorphism, so this is just our L, if we want to apply this proposition, this is just our L, and this is a completion of the perfection of IP double bracket pi bar. The high recurrence of categories of finite algebras of this guy and this guy, right? And thi the right-hand side is just this guy, which is the, the completion of QP muted P infinity. Because taking completion and the perfection doesn't affect the Galois group, so. Yeah, get to this result. So this method, we, we do not use ramification theory. Okay, so now, uh, we start to talk about the generalization of Fontaine theory. So just, just parallel to uh, what, what I mentioned, we, we still begin from the non abelian Adian Shearer theory. So um, in this case, we let S to be a, a perfect Banach algebra of Categories P over L. L just 
analytical field, and the analytical field is a perfect of characteristic P. And we can define, so we define R tutor in R S and R tutor BD R S. And similarly, as, as, uh, as in the field case, similarly. <coughs> then we still have the theorem, the generalization of Long's theorem. The following are equivalents, are equivalent. Uh, the first is the so Etau QP local system. Actually, I need some, but not as difficult as the uh, Tate I think. N not very much. I mean, basically, you just uh, basically just uh, for any uh, I apply uh, a tower L. You just you just you just first uh, you 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 study the the uh, how to say. Sorry. Yeah, 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 you, you, you just study the, the whether this is, I mean, uh, because this is under field, you have, you have the uniform measure to study how, whether it's unramified or tamed ramified, or you classify this, you, 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 you classify this ramification, in, then, then you use this to, to construct this. Yeah, but I mean, my course was way beyond our way. This way to the, the, here to here, right? Yes, yes. Uh, that's I said. I mean, the study the finite tau. I mean, because this this you first you prove that this field has the same residue field as this 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 field. This is characteristic p. This is characteristic zero. So uh, so to that to study the finite tau extension of this guy is is related to to study finite tau extension of this guy. So uh, yes. So we need to analyze the this. The ramification of x prime over l. You need that something just, it just I mean you you for for general I mean finding tension l prime over l just you, you can find a sub extension such that the first level is unramified, tame not ramified, something like that you do just. You understand what I mean? Okay. Yes, so uh, we have a tall QP local system over <coughs> spec S. This example here? No, this <coughs> here. <coughs> what, what, what kind of S do you need? Yes, you are, yeah, this is a good question. So what S we need? So for example, I think we need, later on we will see S equal to, for example, FP. Uh, one, T2, Tm, <coughs> we'll take perfection, something like, like, like this. Yeah, we, we need to consider something like this. Yeah, this is, I mean, if we take T1 inverse, T2 inverse, it's just in, it's the same as the Fortin's almost et al. theory. Yeah, we, we will see this later, I think. Then uh, we still have this et al. Uh, P modules over, um, yes, two dice and uh, et al. P modules over. Uh, two to BD, S. Okay, then uh, the next step is, is try to relativize this 
this normal field construction, right? I mean, the normal field construction. So basically, we have a relative version of, of this proposition. Um, so, so do you apply? Produce equivalence of categories. Okay, so uh, we will give a, a proof of, of this theorem because this is the main point of, of this work, at least one of the main points. Okay, so to do this, uh, yeah, so we need some preparation. some preparation. For this theorem, we, we need actually some topolog topological argument. So we, we talk about topology of what be the vectors. Okay, so uh, we let O S equal to the, the ring of valuations. Okay, so this is the denoted norm of, of S. Then, uh, and we also equip a norm on WOS. The norm WOS is to be the uh, the silk <coughs> okay so then we, we have some continual map from from the um, now actually means spectrum of OS uh, and uh, of WOS so we use this this defined this now actually means spectrum defined by Berkowitz so we first have a map lambda from MOS to MWOS. So the map defined by for any alpha here. By definition, alpha is a uh, is multiple multiplicative semi norm. So lambda alpha. is defined by ring norm alpha xi and we also have mu from uh, mwos to mos Uh, M. Okay, this is uh, non actually mean spectrum defined by Berkowitz. Just take all, all the set of all uh, multiplicative uh, semi norm from uh, from OS. I mean, you, 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 okay, you see that. Okay. Yeah, I think this non actually mean spectrum.
Okay, that's mu defined to be mu uh, xi, mu x equal to uh, yes. Uh, um, sorry, to any beta. Yeah, mu beta x equal to beta x on this taking the lift of x. So. Uh, So we have a diagram, so M W O S X two. This is mu and this is lambda. So actually one can so it's not difficult to, to okay, so it's not difficult to verify that mu equals ID actually. From map to here, you go back to get ID. So actually, we can prove that. I mean, so lambda, sorry, mu, realizes this M W O S as a as a disk bundle. Lambda is a section. So you, you can really prove that. Actually, the, the more uh, explicit uh, mathematical statement is that for any subset U of this MOS, the inverse image of U, I mean, the, the mu maps the inverse image of U to U, then this map, this map has this mu, U has, has the uh, strong deformation retract. So I, I, I don't want to prove this. But I can give you some heuristic argument, which may be helpful to understand the, the in intuition. So this is not mathematical at all. So you have this equal to x plus y plus p something. Right? This is something not zero. But because we are in a non-shipping world, p is small. So You can really, this is almost x plus y, and the attachment lift of x plus y. I don't know what this means. It may be homotopy in some sense. OK. Then, then uh, one can view uh, as a power theories, as a ring of power theories. This variable p and coefficient o s, <coughs> then it's just a o s, something like this. I mean, this is just intuition, and it's not that's not mathematical at all. So okay, yeah. So this means you homotopy. I mean, topologically, you can. View this guy as a, as a as this guy, and this is somehow the, the disk bundle over over this guy. The, the 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 key point is that this is something of characteristic zero, and this is something of characteristic p. Okay, so the the concrete mathematical statement we need is is the following proposition. This is due to Candelaria.
So first we define some uh, notation, an element y equal to, to ixi and wos is called the primitive f degree 1 if zero bar z zero bar is in the s cross and alpha z zero bar I'm oh, sorry the not s the norm of z zero bar is equal to p to the inverse and uh, the norm of This is also, I mean, the similar. This terminology, I think, introduced by Fontaine Fox. So basically, we just try to mimic the condition. I mean, if you view the O as, as, as a coefficient and the P as a variable, we just mimic the, the condition of the in the very stress Pepperton theorem. If you. Oh, yes. It's, uh, yes, the I. Zero bar, I mean. It's bad notation, yeah. It's not very good, but yeah, we just try to mimic the uh, the condition. I mean, when we have the very stress Pepperton theorem, then this is exactly the the hate one condition. So this is why some some something of hate one. Okay, then we have the following proposition. The first is for any. Gamma in the, this evaluation, the quotient seminar which you call stigma, gamma of lambda gamma. So gamma is a point in MOS. So lambda gamma is a point in lambda M, uh, uh, MWOS. Then we take a quotient seminorm on WOS module Z. Sorry, module Y is a multiplicative. And when you, t when, when you take the Apply this map mu, you, you get gamma itself. And the B, the map, oh, sigma. Is a continuous section of lambda. So here's a homomorphism. So between, I mean, it's M O S. M W O S. So this is a closed subscheme, uh, not a subscheme, but this is a closed subspace of this M W O S. So I can I can show you a picture. So uh, this is just the, uh, the M O S. I have some disk bundle. And this guy just um, WOS. We get some section. And this is just the uh, module Z. Okay, then you have the 
homomorphism between this guy and this guy. But still, they mean the cool thing is, this is some some guy of characteristic p, and this guy some of characteristic zero. Okay, so now we can really come we can really come to the proof of of the theorem. I just maybe I just erase it. <coughs> oh yes, I mean always this this yes. yes. Yes, but, but, but later on, we only apply this, the proposition to, to our z. This is the proposition is a more, more general thing. So our theorem is, I mean, is you have this <coughs> S maps to this is produce equal. And this is produce the uh, finite tau equivalence. Okay, so this part is uh, still, I mean, not the difficult, just, just you can produce, uh, cook up some Hansel lemma for this situation. But for this, you really need uh, this topological homomorphism. So uh, the first, the B part, is you can, by P part, you can really get the homomorphism between this R int, <coughs> R one, what do we Z? The homomorphic to M just, oh sorry, this is S. The original homomorphism is about OS, but we can do the S version. The second point, you, uh, you really need to this to prove this theorem. So for any alpha here, related the, the image to be alpha prime, then we really have the residue field of alpha prime, H alpha prime, which has to be the residue field, which is the uh, isomorphic to Okay. And then uh, now for for, for then uh, we have this local ring in the, in the, in the sense of Berkowitz. This is the, uh, we call this S alpha, which is equal to this S prime. So M S prime, that's just a rational uh, neighborhood of, of alpha. I have a reduction map to this H alpha. Okay, so uh, by the by the I mean similar to the Euro I mean algebra geometry. So we, this pair is Hanseiding. So you have you can cook up some some Hansel lemma for this situation. So I find it all equivalence of categories. Then uh, the next we need this. We need to globalize, right? We now we need to globalize. To globalize this uh, construction, so you have this. Mm. Sorry. Right, because you, you by this you can have a map to here. The first okay. So first of all, you, you map to here. This is just uh, 
one having alpha, right? And then module zero gets and this is maps to two to into one um, which alpha module zero. So this is equivalence to categories, finally it talks equivalence to categories by the proposition in the field case. And for this, you still can cook up some uh, cancel lemma, so you have So by this, I mean, by the homomorphism we just mentioned, this ring actually goes through, not this ring, I mean this limit actually goes through the rational domain, rational neighborhood. of alpha pi. So still apply that that uh, uh, equivalence of categories will have this. Then we deduce that this is equivalence of categories of finite hall. Okay, so now the difficult part is just the essential search activity. Essential such activity. Um, for any T at U So we try to lift it to a, a finite algebra over over this ring. Then by this diagram, we call it double star. For each point, alpha. Neighborhood. I mean, Ms prime of alpha such that the restriction of U on, on this is, is liftable. Yes, so on some neighborhood, on the neighborhood of alpha is liftable. However, I mean, the, the MS is compact, so you can find a finite cover. On each cover, you can liftable. So we can glue it together to, to, to global liftable. OK, so I almost ran out of time. Uh, yeah, so this proves the theorem. So now, next, I think I need three minutes to sketch maybe construction of, of the normal rings. So by this, how to? Use this theorem. Uh, so can I can I use uh, the excuse me? Can I use the the, the PPT? Or? Uh, yes. Sure. Okay. Just just yeah. It's too long to write down. So. See that? Yes. It's coming up. It is on the, what is? It's coming up. It's coming up. This is the. Uh, no, what is? Oh, sorry. No, it's just I used in the conference to last week. <laughs> sorry. Okay. 
is uh, what what is what, sorry well, how do you, how do you do this the right arrow ah okay <laughs> sorry okay yes so almost approach oh yes so then they define this we try to define the number of rings for of in other algebras but however we, we need this because we need some global forbidden lift on the ring. For general A, you don't have this lift. So we need to f identify the A with some closed set of rational domain, sorry, rational domain of some uh, of noise spaces. So, uh, so we need this, I mean, this J to, as a coordinate to, 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 to get a global forbidden lift. Then we define this uh, framed algebra, just some map per side from QPJ to A such that. M A is a closed immersed subspace of rational subspace of M this Q P J. We just mimic now we just mimic the uh the, the field case. We we can define the uh, phi action on, on this J P uh, J uh, double bracket pi and also define the action of gamma. But the gamma is now is not the, just uh, the J P cross, but the J P cross cross product with the J P J. I mean J is I mean why we def we define this action of gamma J as follows, why we define this? Because we have the following theorem. So if f n is still the, the minimal polynomials of y epsilon n, then the, the phi maps to f n to f n plus one, then forbidden to lift f induced isomor isometric homomorphism, and uh, which is the identity on scalar. Oh, so this is not, this is not wrong, it's wrong, so. Okay, so uh, then this phi n star, the, the induced map on the uh, Berkowitz spaces is subjective with the finite fibers promoted transitively by. This is certainly not true. I mean, it's just uh, I think one plus p to the n j p cross product with p n to the j p j modulo one plus p to the n plus one j p cross product with p to the n plus one j p j. So basically, we define the action such that we, we can really do descent from q p epsilon one uh, epsilon n plus one j to q p epsilon n. Okay, so now for general A to be a frame QP of an algebra, we define, we, we take a plus n, just the reduced quotient of this. It's exactly the, you have this diagram, you take a plus one to be the, m plus, m a plus plus i one to be the pullback of m a plus i zero, which is just a, then we take the reduced structure of, of this of an algebra. Now you equip this with spectral seminorm. Now, now let a plus i infinity to be the completion of the direct limit which carries an of gamma g and the fixed subring a plus i zero with a. Okay, so here is exactly the same case, right? So th th this diagram is exactly the, if you reverse this diagram by the with, and the delete this m, exactly this. So the situation is that once we know this diagram, how can we get this residue field and the completion of fp double bracket pi bar perfection? So we do this procession we take O A plus I bar to be the inverse limit of this guy then. Sorry. It's wrong. Okay, so. <coughs> yes, then we have, I mean, the final proposition is that A plus I infinity is just canonical kind of isomorphic to this. And uh, we take a plus i bar to be the norm ring of a plus i. Okay, so a plus i bar is exactly the fp, the perfect, uh, the completion of the perfection of ip double bracket pi bar, and this a plus i infinity is exactly the completion of qp mu to the p infinity. So I have a final theorem. Just you can define the Fontaine theorem similarly. I have a category of uh, a tau figure modules and uh, a tau qp local system over. It's not m a spec of a. Okay, I think I should stop here. So sorry for the. Still five more minutes. <laughs>